Welcome back everyone to Sporting Logically. Today we are looking at five crazy NBA slam dunk contest facts. Just to be clear, in this video I'm talking about the modern NBA dunk contest which began in 1984, not anything related to the ABA in the 1970s. Having said that, let's go ahead and get started. Number one, as of this video, the last slam dunk contest winner to go on to become an NBA champion was Kobe Bryant in 1997. Back in 1997, a young Kobe Bryant won an otherwise boring NBA slam dunk contest in Cleveland, Ohio, beating out Chris Carr and Michael Finley in the final round. Three years later, he would go on to win his first of five NBA championships in his Hall of Fame career, something that hasn't been done since. There was no slam dunk contest in either 1998 or 1999, so from 2000 to 2017, every slam dunk contest winner has failed to go on and win an NBA championship in their careers to this point. Dwight Howard did reach an NBA Finals, and Vince Carter has had an outstanding career as a whole, but the next slam dunk contest winner to go on to become an NBA champion will be the first since Kobe all those years ago. Number two, no undrafted player has ever won the dunk contest. The NBA slam dunk contest has only been an event since 1984, and in that time there has not been a single winner that was also an undrafted player. The latest draft pick to win the contest was Spud Webb in 1986, who was a fourth round yes, fourth round draft pick in the 1985 NBA draft. Obviously in today's NBA, Webb would have gone undrafted, but by the draft rules at the time and by all the draft rules since, there has yet to be an undrafted winner of the NBA slam dunk contest. Number three, no player has ever won both the dunk contest and the three point contest. This one probably isn't that surprising as the skills required to win the dunk contest are completely different than the skills required to win the three-point contest. So it would be an incredible feat to compete in both, much less win both. But what is surprising is that there was a player that had a chance, and that player was none other than Michael Jordan, who won back-to-back -back slam dunk contests in 1987 and 88, and participated in the 1993 point contest as well. Had he won, it would have simply added another incredible athletic feat to his already well-celebrated legacy. But instead, he put up the worst single round performance in the history of the contest, scoring just five points. Number four, no slam dunk contest winner has ever become an NBA head coach. We've had former all-stars and three-point contest winners go on to become NBA head coaches, but none of the 25 unique winners of the dunk contest have gone on to become an NBA head coach as of this video. To be fair, a good amount of those 25 past winners are either still active players or only recently retired. And with the turnover in the NBA head coaching ranks being so high, odds are within the next few decades this will no longer be true. The only person to get close was Dee Brown, who won the contest in 1991 and was a head coach in the formerly named NBA Development League, as well as on staff as an assistant for the Pistons and Kings. However, he hasn't coached in the NBA since the 2015 season making it unlikely that he will be the first slam dunk contest winner to become an NBA head coach. Number five, since the league went to a two round draft format in 1989, only three second round picks have won the slam dunk contest. Up until the last few years, Cedric Sabala stood as the only second round draft pick to ever win the slam dunk contest. But with Jeremy Evans and Glenn Robinson III joining the ranks in 2012 and 2017 respectively, the number now stands at three. That won't change this year either as every participant in the 2018 version of the event is a former first round draft pick, something that has been pretty consistent across a lot of the past winners. When you add in Spud Webb as the only other non-first round draft pick to win the dunk contest, then 21 of the 25 or 84% of the unique winners were drafted in the first round. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below who you think will win this year's slam dunk contest. My fellow NC State alum Dennis Smith Jr. has my vote. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below, and if you'd like to see more videos just like this, please subscribe as well. Thank you all so much, and I will see all of you guys next time.